Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing mathematical tool and uh, this is your fourth lecture. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 3 before watching this part 4. Today we are going to discuss about some uh, graphs of uh, geometrical function and that will be useful in physics. So let me discuss a few things, uh, basic things about the graph of functions and uh, let me start with this. So First of all, uh, before plotting graph, uh, I would like to discuss slope. What is slope? Meaning of slope. So, graphs of geometrical functions. Uh, we are discussing today graphs of geometrical figures, right now, or functions, geometrical figures. Okay. So, first of all, I am going to discuss about the slope. What is slope? Slope is <clears throat> slope of a line. Slope of a line is the tangent of an angle. Tangent of an angle made by line. Made by line with positive direction of x axis which positive direction positive direction is which direction you know that is anti clockwise direction anti clockwise anti clockwise anti clockwise direction anti clockwise clockwise direction. Direction is called positive direction with x axis. <coughs> with x axis. Right? With x axis. X axis. <coughs> so tangent of it is denoted by m. It is denoted by usually m it is denoted by by m so if uh, <coughs> a line makes an angle this is a line say <coughs> and this line makes an angle of 30 degree say this is a line and makes an angle of say theta in positive direction, this is anti clockwise direction from x axis. So, if this line makes an angle of theta with x axis positive direction of x axis, then tan theta is called slope. If a line makes an angle of theta with positive direction of direction of x axis then tan theta is called slope of then tan theta is called slope of the line slope of the line and hence m is equal to tan theta m is slope is m and that is equal to tan theta so slope is can be positive or can be negative. Here slope is positive. If theta is if theta is less than 90 degree, then slope is positive. Slope is positive. But if theta is but if theta is greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree, in that case then slope is negative slope is negative okay. so here i am uh, drawing another graph where slope can be described as negative say this one is another graph if i am taking here then the value of this is taken as positive and negative so This one is y dash 
this one is x, this one is x dash, this one is y dash, and this one is y, right? Now. So y y dash. So if there is a line and this line makes an angle of angle of theta here that is more than 90 degree and then tan theta is slope is negative. So here slope is positive greater than 0 that is positive slope positive where this one slope is negative here slope is negative less than 0 that is negative. So negative slope and positive slope lines can be like this okay so so equation of these lines are here y is equal to mx plus c with m is slope and this one is also called uh, y is equal to mx plus c the equation is y is equal to mx plus c here m is positive here m is right so these are the positive and negative slopes if uh, a line is parallel to x axis if a line is parallel to let me write the complete word parallel to x axis parallel to x axis then theta is equal to 0 and then slope is also 0 slope of parallel line to x axis is also 0 so slope m is 0 I remember this fact now, uh, apart from this line, there is another thing which you need to learn that is called circle. Circle. <coughs> so, what is circle? Circle is the locus of a point which moves in such a way the, that general equation of circle is general equation of circle of circle is. x square x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square where h and k are center of the circle center of the circle h and k are center of the circle and r is center of the circle and r is called radius r is called radius of the circle radius of circle right so here uh, this is a in a quadrant system anywhere it can be if circle is like this circle is like this then h and k are centered and r is radius in any quadrant system if i uh, plot it quadrant system then also uh, we have so this one is like this is an x axis this is an y axis so here <coughs> this point is this is y axis this is x axis and this is origin if the center is h comma k and radius is r nothing else so k is y coordinate here that will be represented by k this will be represented by x h you know so h and k these are the centers so when h and k equation of circle this is when a special case when h is equal to 0 and k is equal to 0 then center of circle lies at center of circle lies at origin at origin origin and in this case equation of circle will be so equation of then equation of circle will be <coughs> equation of circle h x square plus y square is equal to r square where x center is at origin and radius is r so you have a circle like this you can have a circle like this you can have circle like this and center and radius of the circle is here say like this center is 
lies at there and radius is also at this point. So this is a circle. This one is <coughs> this one is x axis, this one is y axis, this one is x dash and this one is y dash. This is an origin center 0 0 and radius is r. So this will be r comma 0 because that distance is r and this will be 0 r right now that will be minus r comma 0 and that will be 0 comma minus r. So these are the points and circle has center at this point. So I hope you got this. Okay. So this is the equation of circle and center at origin and radius r. But the general equation of circle, one more thing that you need to know that the general equation of circle, the general equation of circle, circle is also in form of x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 with center at <coughs> with center at minus g minus f and radius h radius h under root g square plus f square minus c so that you need to learn also right now so a circle will be in this way. now the next thing is parabola 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 and what about this you need to learn the general equation general equation of parabola parabola is y minus h this is y minus h whole square is equal to 4a x minus k where h and k are the vertex of parabola where h comma k is the vertex of parabola vertex of parabola parabola right so when h is equal to 0 and k is equal to 0 the equation of parabola then equation of parabola parabola will be y square is equal to 4x now there will be two cases when a is positive and a is negative so if a is positive case first and second when a is negative then equation of parabola will pass through this is the equation of parabola the equation of parabola parabola whose vertex is at origin whose vertex is at origin vertex is at origin 0 0 right so there will be two such equations one is parabola of y square is equal to 4x like this that will be a parabola and this will be a parabola so parabola will be like this there will be two parabola one is like this mm, let me draw here draw slightly mm, like this and this will be like this so these are the two parabolas and uh, equation of parabolas are like this vertex is lies here really. So, and another one is so this is called y square is equal to minus 4x if a is negative then it is considered to be minus 4x a is negative or uh, simply without writing minus sign you can write it because a is already negative we have considered it so if a is negative the parabola will be in this direction this will be x dash and that will be x this is y and that is y dash this is 0 0 called vertex and this is also y square is equal to 4ax right now if a is positive then the equation can be written as y square is equal to minus 4x right now so depending upon the sign of a 
uh, it can be two h right now if a is positive a is negative so here the two parabolas will be there uh, one is from positive side if a is negative then it will be negative side and this one is y axis this is x axis x dash and y dash as well so this one is 0 0 that is called vertex of parabola this one is called vertex of parabola this one is called vertex vertex of parabola like uh, let us do this write this vertex of parabola and this one is also called vertex now uh, in this parabola vertex is at 0 0 so vertex is at 0 0 it is called vertex of parabola so vertex of parabola this one is also vertex of parabola right vertex and here there is a focus that is called a comma 0 this is called focus and focus is here a comma 0 a is negative so it will be minus a comma 0 you know so that is called focus focus of parabola I think you understood it, but in case uh, to avoid confusion, I just write these two cases and put here the value of y square is equal to minus 4x, a is positive, minus a is also negative, and here the equation can be written like this. So that will be minus it. So equation is y square minus 4x, then we can write parabola in this form, and y square is equal to 4x, then parabola will be like this one. Similarly, uh, Another standard form of parabola can be here power of y is even, power of y is even and therefore this is symmetrical about x. Similarly, if power of x is even, then parabola will be symmetrical of y axis. If power of x is, if parabola contains even power of y, power of y it is symmetrical symmetrical means looks like same symmetrical about x axis right now this is what happened here that y square if you rotate this about x axis this one completely lie over the other one if the power of if the parabola contains even power of x if parabola contains even power of x even power of x it is symmetrical symmetrical about about y axis and therefore equation of parabola Therefore, equation of parabola like x square is equal to 4ay and x square is equal to minus 4ay. What will be that? So, let me plot this graph of these two parabolas here again. So, that will be say this one is parabola. And uh, the next one is this is y axis, this one is y dash, x axis, and this one is x dash. This one is y axis, again y dash, and this one is x axis and x dash. So if x, y square, x square is equal to minus 4ay, the parabola will be like this, right now, downward. It will pass through origin, but it must be downward. Graph of parabola will be downward, right now, like this. Uh, I am not able to draw it properly, but uh, let me try this first. Okay. <coughs> so, let me draw it. This is a parabola. This will be y square is equal to x square is equal to minus 4 y and it will be upward this is the parabola you know so x square is equal to 4 ay and this one is x square is equal to minus 4 ay 
minus 4a by b. Power of x then it will be symmetrical about y axis. So this one is vertex here 0 0. This one is vertex. Vertex is again here 0 0. But focus is here 0 comma a. And here the focus is 0 comma minus a. So this one is focus. You know this one is focus. This one is called focus. And this one is vertex. Vertex is this one. This one is vertex. I hope you got it. Now, uh, again, this one is vertex. Right? And uh, this one is focus. Focus. Right. So I hope you got this. So this one is focus. This is vertex. Coordinate of vertex is nothing else but 0, 0. It is written already here. Right now, huh? written here 0, 0. This is vertex, vertex, and this is focus. So that will be parallel to x-axis and parallel to y-axis. I hope you got this. Now there is a new thing which you need to learn about ellipse. Ellipse. Also the general equation of ellipse is the general equation of ellipse. The general equation of ellipse is x minus h whole square upon a square a square plus y minus k whole square upon b square is equal to 1 where h and k is the center of center of ellipse ellipse but when h is equal to 0, k is equal to 0, then center of ellipse will be, center of ellipse will lies at origin, lies at origin, origin and hence the equation of ellipse in that case, equation of ellipse will be will be x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 and this is the equation of ellipse i hope you got it right so this is the ellipse here uh, the coordinate axis are the equation of ellipse and the coordinate axis are here this hmm. yes this is the ellipse and uh, this is I can write here right right so that is here if a is greater than b, there are two cases. One is called a is greater than b and b is greater than a. So let me write them. This one is nothing else, but this is a uh, this is x s, this one is x axis, this one is y, and this one is y dash. This point is a comma zero. This point is minus a comma zero. This is zero comma b, and this point is zero comma minus b. How to get this? Uh, it is simple. A a dash b, and this is b dash. Simple. Put x is equal to zero. You can do it. Put x is equal to zero. Then y square by b square is equal to one. So y square is equal to b square, and this implies y is equal to plus minus b. 
is the point of intersection plus minus b and therefore 0 b and 0 minus b are two point of intersection on y axis and similarly if you put x is equal to y is equal to 0 if you will put y is equal to 0 then you will get x square by a square is equal to 1 this will be x square is equal to a square and x is equal to plus minus so a0 a0 minus a0 0 b and 0 minus b are point of intersection on axis h point of intersection on axis h on axis h right so i hope you got it now there are two foci in parabola there are two foci s and s dash there are two foci so these are called foci these are called foci right this one is called foci there are two focus focus plural of focus is foci called foci so this one is two foci you know there are two foci so this one is also called foci so let me write this these are called foci so called foci two focus plural of two focus are called foci this is called vertex vertex this one is also called vertex this is the vertex and this one is called center center you know so these are two things here are uh, the minor axis and major axis concept of that is minor axis since a is greater than b in that case a a dash is called major axis since if a is greater than b then a a dash is called major axis major axis and b b dash such that a a dash is equal to 2a length of major axis is 2a right and b b dash and b b dash is called minor axis minor axis and therefore b b dash length of minor axis is to b so remember these things i hope you got it right so here just you know need to know the equations not about eccentricity direct direction all other things are there you have to just know about the equations vertex and their uh, focus now let us learn graph of trigonometric function and that uh, what i have uh, promised you to deal with so here let me discuss this graph of trigonometric function trigonometric function graph of trigonometric function first y is equal to graph of sin x now first let me discuss about the graph of sin x sin x let y is equal to sin x right so here if you plot the diagram plot the table you will get it like value let us plot the value and there is minus 2 pi minus 3 pi by 2 minus pi minus pi by 2 0 pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi the value pi means you know 180 and the value if i put the value of x 0 then sin 0 is 0 90 sin 90 is 1 sin pi is 0 sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 sin 2 pi 2 pi means 0 is 0 similarly here minus pi by 2 sin minus pi by 2 is minus 1 so minus 1 sin pi is 0 and this is minus 3 pi by 2 is 1 and minus 2 pi is 0. So the if you will plot this value, uh, you will be able to get it. The graph of the function is like, um, here, let me plot this. The graph of the function will be lies between minus 1 to 1 and the graph will be like,
like this you know and like this so the graph will lies between 0 to minus 0 yes so here it will be between minus 1 to 1 the value of this is lies between 1 to 1 so that will be between this is 1 and this is minus 1 this is 0 pi by 2 value is 1 pi this is 3 pi by 2 that is minus 1 some more value you can calculate and you can do it right like this and this is x axis this is y axis that will be minus x dash this will be y dash so this will be 2 pi as well the value is 2 pi so 2 pi pi by 2 right now there is minus pi by 2 this is minus pi here is 3 pi by 2 value is 1 that will be the value and this is 2 pi so a uh, graph of this sin x will be like this similarly if you plot the same uh, table for cos x and tan x you will get it graph of cos x is y is equal to cos x then graph of cos x will lie between is lying between like this so here the graph will be like let me write this mm. so if you plot the value uh, like uh, here this is a 0 and value is a 1 so for, for cos 0 is 1 cos pi by 2 is 0 cos pi is minus 1 so that is minus 1 here you know minus 1 and 2 pi cos 3 pi by 2 is also 0 and 2 pi is 1 again similarly here this is minus pi by 2 this is minus pi right now and minus pi is like this and here this is minus 3 pi by 2 and this is also minus 2 pi so value of cos this is the graph of cos x you can plot it like this so graph of cos x is like this if you want to draw the similar table uh, you can make it uh, your own and uh, similarly graph of tan x is graph of tan x y is equal to tan x then this graph will be uh, like uh, if we plot this so here between 0 to 2 pi then what will happen think about that that will be like uh, this will be y this will be y dash this will be x and that will be x dash here the graph will lie between uh, minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and uh, this is pi by 2 and again there will be another line that is minus pi by 2 so if graph is lie between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 this graph will lie like this and uh, it will lie like pi by 2 is not defined so this graph will lie like this it looks like it touches the uh, at infinity so this is pi by 2 this is minus pi by 2 again if you draw another line then what will happen say if i will draw another line then it will be pi by 2 and uh, pi it will be pi and again pi by 2 so similar like graph will be there again it will be another line like this then graph will be between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 it's like this so it will be like this okay so if i plot the graph here again it will lie like between this so it will come like this here graph will come like this and it will touch in the infinity and there it will graph is like this it will comes here 
and it will come like this. So this will be the graph. Graph between 0, pi by 2. This is pi and that one is minus pi. So graph of tan x is like this. You can have. I hope you got all this. Uh, just you have to keep this in mind that how to deal with the graph, what kind of nature of the graph will be, but not necessary to learn. So I hope you got all these points and uh, there is no problem at all in this uh, type of uh, graph and uh, after that uh, you will learn more about in, it in mathematics but in physics this will be more than enough knowledge to have a graph and graphical knowledge of different type of uh, geometrical and algebraic functions. So uh, this is all about this uh, lecture and in next lecture we will discuss about the vector. So till then. Bye bye. God bless. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe this channel and share to your friends as well. So thank you. Thank you very much.